problems or their beneficial morals, but uh, or just something, some feature of the life. Um, this story doesn't really fall under those categories. It more so has survived for its notoriety in my family. Um, and thus begins the tale of how Jello became infamous in my family. Um, it begins with a day trip to go fishing, with my grandpa taking my uncle and my mother out for the day. Um, earlier in the summer in their home in Deep U, Oklahoma, um, earlier that summer in June, my mother's grandma had passed my great grandma Houston. And that had set the tone as not a, not a fun summertime, so my grandpa decided to take everyone out to go fishing and try to take their minds off of it. Um, so they spent the whole day fishing, and when they came back around dinner time, they found my grandma had just gone to her room. My grandpa followed her and he saw that she was crying. And much to his horror, he found that he had forgotten her birthday, the first birthday after her mother had died. Um, thus began the frantic search between him, my mother, and my uncle for something to make it up, make it end happily. Um, they were running around the kitchen trying to find anything to make a cake or dinner with, but it, w it didn't turn out so well. Um, they made dinner all right, but they had nothing for a cake, and they felt bad about this. But my mother luckily found a packet of jello. <laughs> so they made the jello, and by the time it finished, dinner was cold, and they. And the jello had set, and they put candles in it, and presented this to my still crying grandma. Um, looking back on the story now, my grandma laughs about it. She jokes about her getting my parents' birthdays or my grandpa's and giving them jello instead. In fact, at the last birthday party, part of my uncle's present was a packet of jello. Um, the story really doesn't have a, a moral to it, but if I could pull one from it, it would be to not forget the importance of the around you just because you're focused on your own grief or your own personal problems. And it can be said that her birthday has never been forgot since then.